last 100 years or so, we've really had a huge change in the way we live our lives because of the advances in electronics. The ability to deliver electricity over wires, it's changed the way we live, it's changed the way we work and play. It's been a huge boon to society, but it means that we're tethered. So engineers have been working on ways to make everything that is wired wireless, which is great, except that for a wireless device, you still need to provide power, which means you have a battery, and either it's a battery you have to replace or it's a battery you have to plug into charge. And either way, your mouse dies in the middle of the game and you're screwed. We looked into a lot of different solutions, and one of them dated all the way back to the late 1890s when Nikola Tesla first started investigating wireless power transfer. This technology is built on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Basically, power is fed to a transmitter coil that produces an electromagnetic field. When a receiver coil enters the field, it creates a current that is used to charge a battery. So really the question is, is it possible to take that science and apply it to something like a gaming mouse? No, not with the existing technology. But it doesn't mean it's impossible. Current wireless charging technology, all you're doing is creating something like a charging dock. While it's in the dock, you can't play with it. Gaming sucks. What we want to achieve is completely wireless, uninterrupted gameplay at the highest level of performance. So we can get what we want, we just have to invent technology that doesn't exist yet. About four years ago, we started doing a first prototype but it was more a proof of concept. The existing technologies for charging devices at the moment have a charging area which is very limited. It's about business card area. Some of them can extend up to 19 times uh, 13 centimeters roughly. We need to extend it at least four times to make it a decent experience for a gamer. As that area expands, power supply becomes a bigger issue. We have to emit the necessary level of power across the entire surface so there's no holes or dead spots where the mouse loses power transfer. And our only power source is the USB port, which delivers 500 milliamps at five volts, two and a half watts. So if your power source is constrained and you still need to increase the size of the field, you really have to work on reducing the power consumption of the mouse. We started by focusing on the sensor. We reduce its consumption quite a lot, but this is not sufficient. So we worked also a lot on the power management itself, plus even the firmware. We paid attention to every detail to drastically reduce the consumption. Okay, now we've got the power output and the power requirements balanced out. We had to make it a form factor that was conducive to gaming, so we turned to our expert mechanical and materials engineers in Taiwan. 典型的充電產品厚度大約是毫米 at this point, we reached a critical moment. We've done all the research and testing and development, but one question remains. Can we actually build this thing? Design的过程及设备对我们来说是另一个新的挑战。With PowerPlay, we removed every cable we could. By removing the cord, you have a more fluid experience. We eliminated the need for recharging the battery. This is virtually an infinite battery life. The mouse is totally free. On the surface, it's a pretty simple idea, but actually building the technology with all the engineering challenges took us, with an international team, about four years. It was an incredible amount of effort, and we're very proud of the results. After all our efforts to bring it to life, it's an incredible feeling. It was a very long project. It was a difficult one. We suffered, but we finally did it. Mm -hmm.